What's up everybody, JJ Shankles, the Goat Toasters here. Today I wanted to show you a simple fix I found related to recording audio on Audacity and using it in DaVinci Resolve to edit it. So the problem I've been having was audio drift. After you record for eight, 10, 20 minutes, usually I record for about 20 minutes of me talking and then I cut it down to 10 or under 10 minutes. So there's a lot of blank spaces in there that I need to cut down in the middle. But I was having a problem with audio drift when I recorded it in Audacity, but I found the fix in DaVinci Resolve and I wanted to show you the process today and how it's all working really well. Now I can re record with my same microphone. I've got the DD 3.5 millimeter to XLR jack. Then I can take that signal, put it right into my audio interface on my computer. I've got the Behringer Euphoria UMC 204 HD. So that XLR input is gonna be a lot better than the Nikon Z6. The Z6 is the camera I'm filming on specifically has pretty bad audio preamps in there. It, that's one is just pretty much well known. And so you have to set it at really low. I was setting it at three on a scale of one to 20. People recommend one, two, or three being as high as you go. And with the problem with that is the Deity D3 Pro microphone, you had to set it at the most gain you could get to get a decent signal levels. And so it was just never a great system and it always, the audio felt lacking, like I wasn't getting as much as I could get out of this microphone. And now that I'm pumping it through a high quality audio interface, I really think the audio has really leveled up. Sorry for that long explanation, I wanted to explain sort of this setup here, so maybe if yours is similar, this can help you out. I don't know, I've heard a lot of reasons of why this could be happening, and I haven't found a great answer or a great solution, but this solution works really well. And so I've got some clips already. This is a long test I did yesterday. I just filmed for about 20 minutes to see if the audio would sync up. So now once we're in DaVinci Resolve, I have two test clips from yesterday. I recorded for about 20 minutes just to sort of get a good baseline. And so the audio, the auto sync audio tracks won't work now because the waveforms, one is a little bit shorter than the other one. So I did put claps at the beginning and the end of the audio. Top track is recorded in camera, bottom track is through Audacity. Let's line these up just as best as possible. And then we're gonna go to the end of it. And see how these aren't lining up. You have to go into the Fairlight tab, click the audio sample you want, select elastic wave and stretch it out right till these line up and you turn off the elastic wave and it goes back you can see here go to the beginning beginning claps line up and the audio lines up and you go to the end and the end audio lines up so that's currently the best system i've found to sync up audio between audacity and davinci resolve i would love to hear if someone has a better solution than this let me know in the comments down below this is just the best solution I've found, and I still haven't found the root cause of why Audacity is even giving us a shorter audio clip than the video is giving us. And if you found this video, give me that thumbs up down below. If you think it wasn't helpful or this was a bad solution, give me that thumbs down. Either way, that lets me know what you think about this video. And while you're down there, if you would, hit that like and subscribe button if you've watched all the way through. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Go Toaster out.